before we start the video, i just like to say that we started a Make Me a Coffee uh, site. People who want to tip us and want to buy us a slice of pizza, you know, we, we don't mind. You yeah, give me pizza. Yep. You can go choose one slice, three slice, five slice, whatever slice, and so you can say something nice to us. Or just say a whole bunch of insults. We don't mind. <laughs> and if you don't want to buy us a pizza, that's fine. I can let Delta starve. No! Now on to the video. Linux Gamer Alpha Deck here, and I'm going to show you how to install MU Deck. MU Deck is an emulator um, program. Well, not quite an emulator program. It's why does it keep freezing like that? Uh, it's an it designed for the uh, Steam Deck to add, so you can install emulators onto the Steam Deck, but you can install all these on Linux itself. The thing is, I already installed it just to test this out, and it works perfectly. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a, I already recorded on my other computer how I install it, and then I'll tell you about this in a moment. So I'll be right back, and we'll, we'll just, I'll just show you how I installed it on my other computer while talking over it. And it probably won't be of great uh, content, but at least it'll be something, right? And I'll be right back. Alright, as you can see here, um, I'm on the website, and I'm going right to the um, to Linux, uh, uh, to the Fedora one. Yes, it can run on Fedora and in, in, in um, Nabara. And all I have to do is copy and paste these commands right here, and then just if you just uh, put in a password, and it will download the dependencies it needs to download Emuldeck. And then all you have to do is go to down here to this section, and then just copy and paste that, go into the terminal and paste that, and it will run the installation to Emudeck. As you can see here, it's loading up. That terminal is going to be running in the background, and there it goes. It's installing. I prefer easy mode. I there's a custom one, but just do the easy one. And what I like about this is you can run on um, a USB port or just a regular hard drive, or if you have a second hard drive. So you don't have to have it on your hard drive itself. It's actually pretty neat, but I chose the hard drive, and then I'm going into the installation part. Now, it does have the Steam Deck. Um, I don't know what the other one is, but you want to go with Linux. That's what you want to do. Just go with the Linux, and it will install the, the program. And as you can see, it's installing with Sonic in the background. And you can open up the terminal of what, what it's installing right now. So that's pretty neat. You're just installing what you need for it. And you could just have it run in the background and you can see what's going on. Now, I believe I sh will show you in a moment the other terminal of when while well, still still doing the installation. Um, should be popping up soon. I think I'm still just showing this off. I, I have a lot of, yeah, spaced out things right there. Um, but it's pretty neat that it just, you have Sonic in the background uh, running this, and it, he's running the, of how much you're installing. You can see, you yeah, installing it, and Sonic just slows down, and then he just speeds right back up. It's actually pretty cool. Um... I should be showing more things in a moment. How much did I do? Oh, there's a lot more. Okay, yeah. I also show right there. I don't know what these errors is, but it's doing all this. Uh, but it should be all fine, and it will just uh, close out. And that's all I have to do. Um, at the end, I'm just... I will now show you soon what to... Uh, how to run this and I will be back in just a moment and I'm 
I'm back, and this is what we'll have for the emulators. RetroArch, I don't know what they do. Um, yes, you can do NES, pre-installed folders, but the, here is where the problem lies. Go back. The, no, I'll leave it. Some of these have to have the BIOS for each of the game. Uh, only some of them. I know, I think this one you don't need. See? No, actually, I think you do need it. PlayStation do. No, which one was it didn't need one? I thought that was it. No, PSP. PlayStation, no, yeah. PSP, you don't need a BIOS require. You can install it, and it's just a PlayStation portable. Um, but a lot of them, yes, you're going to need to do some tweaking and stuff like that. And here is where we have the problem. I cannot show you where the websites are to get the uh, the BIOS or where to get these games, even though, except for these two, I don't even know why. See, why didn't my mouse, why did that happen? What the f Why did that do that? I know I had not was <laughs> what? Why is my mind? <laughs> is it doing that to just? Oh, like, is this an update from? Okay, I'm <laughs> sorry. Like what in the hell? <laughs> did it get bigger? When it gets bigger. Why? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Um, oh god. Oh god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just came him out. Okay. That was too funny. <laughs> um, I can't show you the emulate the uh, uh the um Oh god, why did it do that? I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay, give me a moment, kid. Okay. Um I can't show you the website to the um, to the BIOS or the free games because of YouTube. Um, the thing is, uh, yeah, as you know, these two game these two should not be um, on there because these are for the Switch. And though that one makes sense, you shouldn't be using because that's still the newer um um. A newer console, um, but the so uh, I don't know why this is on here in the beginning with because of the big lawsuit from from um, Nintendo. But yeah, but the rest of these you can't do it because copyright, which makes no sense because they're all dead. PlayStation. Portable dead. Um, PlayStation dead. Uh, don't know what that is. It's dead. PlayStation Three dead. Original Xbox dead. Wii U dead. Um, Nintendo uh the GameCube dead. All these are like a lot. Every single one of them are dead. Oh yeah, you can um. Update these emulators just hitting this one button. And I. This one right here just keeps popping up. I don't even want to know what that does. I just hit this. And it'll just update all the emulators. Um, I guess some of them are flat pack, some of them are app image. It doesn't matter. So, unfortunately, this is all I could do. I mean, I could show you some of, some of these, but. A lot of it is just screen revolutions. Yeah, you can change the screen You see, PlayStation One, you can go 1080 or 144. 
I know my graphic card can't do 4K, but did it work? Yes, yeah, save as is. Um, but besides that, there's nothing much I can do. I really want to show you guys. I really do. But YouTube says no. I don't know. I don't think um, Rumble will let me. Odyssey is a risk. That's something I would not. I would wouldn't risk. The only uh, platform I would would do would be um, uh, Peer Two, but that's still a risk too. So. If you really want me to show you guys, the only thing you can do is, well, you have to subscribe to my um, Peer2 channel. If I get, like, maybe, I don't know, um, 100 subscribers. I mean, I'm not, I don't get that many subscribers, but if maybe if, if you get 100 subscribers, I might do it. And maybe you could donate uh, $10,000 to my um buy me a coffee um thing maybe that might also help a little bit but besides that i mean you don't have to do all things but i can't risk any of my channels to do show you these things so unfortunately i have to end the video here um like and subscribe leave a comment what you think we should i should do and i will see you next time Goodbye.